for the LA Rams versus the Green Bay Packers. Call me crazy, but I think the Packers might actually do this. Mostly because Aaron Rodgers is the best quarterback in the league. He's, um, he's immensely talented, and he's got a better receiving core than he's had in years past. And the running game's pretty consistent for Green Bay. I think they got a chance. LA's a juggernaut. Truly. But if Green Bay can keep pace with them, I think the veteran leadership on that team can carry them to a win. That being said, for fantasy, the Rams, again, are a juggernaut. Goff is going to have a good game. It's going to be a high-scoring affair. Um, keep an eye on the injury reports for Cooper Cup and Brandon Cooks. A lot of concussion issues over there. Um, they're playing. They're healthy. They're both number one wideouts. If they're not, obviously you bench them. Robert Woods gets elevated to a wide receiver two from a wide receiver three. The um, the running game is all Todd Gurley all the time, so it, you should be starting him every week regardless. On the Packers' side of things, Aaron Jones resuming his role of most talented player but usually disappointing in fantasy football uh, for the running back core of Green Bay. He, he's good, but I don't know. Maybe it's Mike McCarthy's offense. They never really seem to have a consistent running attack there, and I'd expect that to be much of the same. This is going to be Aaron Rodgers' show, and... With, with Adams there, he's got a legitimate number one wide receiver for the first time in what seems like forever. And, um, yeah, the, the leftovers of that wide receiving core can do some good. There's another area we're going to keep an eye on, the injury reports. I mean, people have been in and out of the lineup there. Um, yeah, there, there's two or three names juggling around. Um... Outside of Adams, nobody is, you know, legitimate lock to start in that receiving core because uh, Rodgers does spread the ball around really, really well, and nobody else is crazy talented. So it's going to be a matter of who really establishes a rhythm with him early in the game and where the game plan is going. Um, I really expect Aaron Rodgers to shine in this game because the Rams' defense hasn't been as advertised. They're built to play from ahead with a consistent pass rush. I think the Packers can run the ball. It'll be only just consistent enough, though, to keep the Rams' defense honest. This is very much Aaron Rodgers' show. He's a lock at a QB1. Start him and don't think twice about it. Same with Adams. Um, any other Packers, receivers, they're coin flips. I'm not saying they're intensely, intensely risky, but yeah, you're, you're always taking a risk when you go to any of those other wideouts based off of the injuries and the level of play that they've given to this point in the season when they were healthy. Um, your only lock-solid stuff is on the Rams' side of the ball uh, outside of Aaron Rodgers. So enjoy this game. It's going to be a fun one for fantasy owners, um, mostly in the passing attack.